Welcome back to another RMS Support Center tutorial video. Today's topic is going to be how to assign district, office, and also contract rights to a RMS staff user. Now, in order to get started, we're going to go ahead and go to the RMS Staff tab. We're now presented with a list of all staff for this district. Now, go ahead and look for the name that you want to give user rights to. In this case, I'm going to look for my record. And then here we see we have three boxes, one for district admin rights, office admin rights, and contract rights. To give district admin rights, just click the blue tile. Select the permissions that you wish to give the user. You can select multiple. And once when you have all the rights that you want to give this user, go ahead and hit the back arrow. Now for office admin rights, you'll have to click the box show all offices look for the office that you want to give office rights to select it then give the required permissions that you want to set for that specific user and then hit the back arrow to commit all changes and now for adding contract rights it is a little bit different from that compared to the district and office admin rights in order to give a contract rights we're going to have to create a user role and so in order to do that, we're going to go back to the menu within the district. And then we're going to go ahead and go into the district office. And within the district office, we're going to go to the contractor user roles module. And here we see a list of all the contract roles that we can select. We can also add a new one. We can give this role a title. We're going to go ahead and give it RMS support for the title. And then we can set whatever permissions we want this user to have for specific contracts. So let's just say we want to give them all read-only access. We're going to go ahead and click this button to sign all as read-only. We're going to click yes and then we're going to go ahead and click back. And We're going to head back to the RMS staff tab. And now we're going to go ahead and look for that record again that we were just in. And now under the contract rights we're going to select the blue tile again and then we're going to go ahead and click this blue tile contractor user role and then we're going to go ahead and look for that user role that we just created there it is RMS support and we're going to go ahead and click OK and then we're going to go ahead and hit the back button and now this user will have read-only access to all contracts within this district and that's how you use the contract office and district admin rights permissions thanks for watching Thank you.